I want to start to begin to show you some of the other apps that Adobe has and starting with colors within this same app here. I want to, um, colors came from the previous web app Adobe Colors CC. They have combined it in here and I'm really happy they did because here from one spot I'm I can start using the same image in a number of different ways uh, for different assets that I can use later on in my workflow. Right now I want to I want to pull some of those colors out of that photograph so that I can use them for this invite that I need to make. I'm going to select the plus button down at the bottom once I'm in the colors area and it will immediately go to my camera much like shapes did. But I want to go back to my camera roll by selecting the image in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to select that flower again. Now what this does is uh, start to select different colors within this image for us automatically. Now I can then from here start changing by click by holding and dragging and wherever my finger is you can see that targeting going on. You can also see the color changing for that one particular swatch up there. Um, if I want to change maybe some different uh, tone palettes, see the happy little face over there? What a great little icon. We select that here and it'll give us some different things. It automatically always starts with colorful and that's what we had at the beginning. But let's try some of these other ones just to see how the colors change. This is bright, muted, and some some of those darks in the back and a little bit of the green here deep got to say it like that dark very good out of these I, I do like the colorful the most uh, I do want to change uh, some of the yellows look a little too close there and I would like to have a green so the one yellow that I'm not as excited about is this guy and I'm gonna drag him down and I'd like to get a nice dark green, maybe something for some text later on. We'll see. So from here, I'll select the shutter button, and that creates a color theme, very similar to the shapes in where we can decide what do we want to call this, and I'm going to call it flower color theme one. It's going to go in my flower library, and sharing here. This is something that's really cool and I'm not going to go into the details but I'll just show it to you real quick. To make discoverable, if I select the off button there, I can either make this private so that only myself have these color palettes or I can publish it on color.adobe.com and this is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll go back. Now maybe if I'm looking at this here and that orange up on the top, I'm not looking, I'm not enjoying too much. I can save that later and I'll show you that. So I'm going to save this color theme and there we go. This is li the library for the colors. This is also being saved as an asset. It's syncing to the Creative Cloud Library flower. You can do the same with the, the brushes and the looks, but I'm not going to go into that right at this time. Okay, so we've created a color palette here from that image, the same image that I've created a shape. Now if we select it within the library here, you'll see something very similar to the shapes that we can see the preview of the palettes. I can go move to info here, find out the name, where it's located, but here is the cool part. I can copy the link when I'm sharing it through color.adobe.com. It'll automatically copy that link to my clipboard and if I go into Safari, paste and go. So here we have, you'll notice that there's three menu items up at the top, create, explore, and my themes. Now I'm not signed in here, but if I go to my themes, it'll ask me to go ahead and sign in. So let me go ahead and sign in real quick. So now we go into my themes. We can see all of my different libraries that I have and my different color themes. I'm going down here to the very end here, color themes. From here, selecting it, I can either delete the swatch or the palette, or I can edit a copy of this. I can do this also from my themes as well. And this is what I really like, is that I can quickly change 
this orange here, I really wanted something a little darker. And I can use my slider tools here down below. And you can see how it adjusts up here in the color wheel. I can also adjust it that way as well too. Not so much. There we go. I wanted something a little bit, just a little bit darker. Uh, the rest of these are looking pretty good and I can go ahead and save it. Now this will save as a copy or save the changes to this original theme, which I'll go ahead and do. Cool, so I just wanted to show you that there. The other thing you can do is if you go to Explore, you can start to see what are uh, other color palettes that are going on. And this might be a good way, if you're just trying to explore a little bit, to start immediately start using that within your own designs. I'm really liking this, uh, this guy right here. And I want to go ahead and save him into my library. I can choose which one I want. Let's find that flower. There it is. Uh, and I can keep that. You can see the different tags that have been put in here by the creator. Very helpful. And I'll go ahead and hit save. So let's go back to Adobe Capture real quick. This is where we left off. Here we can also see the image in which the colors were taken from. Now, if I go back to the library and I select this again, I can do the same things along the bottom here that I was able to before. I could save these in different libraries. I can share these color themes in different ways there, or I can delete it as well. I can always go back and edit it from here. Very similar to what we saw on color.adobe.com. And uh, I'm not going to really mess with anything here, but you can see you basically can start messing with it very similar to the way we had before. You can look at the image. Hmm. Something closer to that. And go ahead and hit save. Go back to the library. And there we go. We have all our different colors included now, including the new one that I just edited. All right, so what do we do with all this? Well, I have this invite that Bonnie needs. I originally had taken my shape and sent it to her. I can, from here, have this flower library and everything that I'm creating, including the colors, the shapes. I could do brushes and different look, looks there. By selecting the three dots, the menu in the upper right-hand corner, I can, from here, invite others to collaborate. And what this does is it opens up their Adobe Creative Library and it will sync with their own desktop and mobile devices and allow them to be able to get these assets. So all you do is you type in the address that you want. You can do a custom message if you would like and select invite. Okay, so that's the color tool within Adobe Capture.